hello everyone welcome to my channel guys this is out of curiosity i am going to put some questions which are asked in upsc prelims this year so those questions i have found like some metallurgy questions or material science question see you can relate this one the first one is with reference to carbon nanotubes carbon nanotube we hear all the time right metallurgist Consider the following statement. They can be used as carriers of drugs and antigens in the human body. They can be made into artificial blood capillaries for an injured part of human body. They can be used in biochemical sensors. Carbon nanotubes are biodegradable. Right? So if you see the options, no. uh, this will be known basically to a person who more deals with material science. But yeah, if you remember, then it can be used for drugs. They can be made into artificially blood capillaries for an injured part of your body. This is not sure, but I think this cannot be made. They can be used in biochemical sensors. Yes, it is used. We know this. Carbon nanotubes are biodegradable. Yes, this is also biodegradable. So I have recently found a paper regarding this. Carbon nanotubes are promising nanomaterial with great potential in the field of nanomedicine. Okay, you can say recently it has been demonstrated that functionalized carbon nanotubes can be degraded by oxidative enzyme. So this is a biodegradable one. Okay. Next, next uh, it is related to steel making, right? So note it is asking about the byproduct which is we generate in the case of steel making. Steel slag can be the material for which of the following purposes, right? Like, can it be used for improvement of base road? Can it be used for improvement of agricultural soil, production of cement, right? So guys, I think you know this option three, production of cement, it is done. That is sure. The construction of base road, you see, this is also done. Means uh, if you see in the Jamshedpur area, so this Jamshedpur area, there are some areas where in the construction of road this has been used then improvement of agricultural soil yes this is also used basically what happens the slag contains many elements like silicon manganese right fluorine these things contain so these basically helps to act as a fertilizer with some modification so i found a paper you can see slag still slag amendment impacts on soil microbial communities and activities of rice so just a paper i found because you can, you can see here here it is written because of because of the lynch donovis slag rich in silicon and other fertilizer components we have to evaluate the impact of magnesium okay because this contains rich in silicon and other fertilizer components right next if you see uh, this is regarding the coal ash right like the coal which we use in the power plant or the coal which we use for the our steel making also so both generally both <coughs> coals are same right <coughs> only thing is that the grade of this metallurgical coal is slightly better now see coal ash contain arsenic lead and mercury yes it contains it contains these metals coal fire power plants release sulfur dioxide and oxides of nitrogen into the environment yes because this sulfur nitrogen these things are present in the coal so when it burns so s plus o2 gives so2 so similarly nitrogen plus o2 gives some nitrogen oxide right high ash contain is observed in indian coal yes it is also true the indian coal contains very high ash you must have read this one, like 25 percent 20 percent on an average okay so that's why many times uh, for the power plants or for steel industry we import coal so you must have had like tata steel also imports coal then jindali steel and other steel companies also import coal let's see consider the following minerals bentonite chromite kyanite 
Silimanite in which in India which of the following which of the above are officially designation as major mineral okay so this is a, a very specific type of question we have not read this thing but yeah I can tell you just things like what are the different types of ores of this so bentonite chromite you know chromite is a ore of iron chrome right then kyanite and silimanite right so these two are ores of your it is called aluminium silico alloy alloy of this is a mineral of aluminium and silica right so among this this is the fourth one which is declared as the major mineral right so you uh, just go through this you search by yourself also what are that is minerals and so it will be interesting so this is out of curiosity i just made this video okay so thank you all thank you